it can't be said enough. Relevant, significant, original content is essential for the success of a small business website. Without it, you won't attract search engines or customers. The challenge for the small business is that they don't have the budget to allow for hiring copywriters, photographers, or graphic designers to continuously produce content for their website. Fortunately, you already have access to a great content idea stream. Hi everyone, I'm Charles Broersma, founder of the Casbah Total Internet Marketing Solution, the place where small businesses go to double their revenue from the internet, and today, I'm going to share with you five tips on how you can start to generate great web content. So stay tuned. The people in your company who sell and support your products and services are an important source of content for your website. Your employees know your customers and their problems. Use that to your advantage to produce useful content. Capture insightful comments, conversations, and opinions about the work that you do for your customers. Your staff can supply a wellspring of new and interesting content. Just ask them to get involved. Ask your best customers to write three, just three, sentences about their experience working with your company. Encourage them to share their thoughts on how, when, and why they use your products and services. You can use their responses to produce some new content, but they can also serve as referenceable reviews in the future. Content generation doesn't always have to be about producing new articles. It can include reviews, product information, white papers, new website sections, videos, you name it. Similarly, ask your vendors and suppliers what they think of your latest product or service release. What are its unique values? Get them talking about your products and services because they are indirectly involved in how you service your customers. Remember that they work with other customers like you. See if they'd be willing to share information on what's working in other business relationships. While you're capturing that important information, listen carefully to the words they use to describe their perception of what you do and how you do it. If you sell products manufactured by other companies, your sales rep or manufacturer's rep for that company may be a source of content for you. Ask your rep if there are product descriptions, photos, videos, illustrations, or other digital material that you can use. Take the initiative. You don't get what you don't ask for. One note of caution. You do not want your entire website to consist of content that you've received from your suppliers or manufacturers. You'll likely have identical content to all the other distributors who did the same thing, and you'll end up competing with them to rank the highest on result pages. You also don't want to copy manufacturers or suppliers' information word for word. This is called duplicate content, which will result in getting you penalized with the search engines. However, when interspersed with original content that you create yourself, supplier information can bring a lot of value to your site. If you use an ad agency or a freelancer to create marketing materials like ads, infographics, white papers, or ebooks, Make sure you get digital copies in a usable format of all of this content. Once you have the files, you can include them on individual web pages or create new articles around these documents. Once you get into the habit of looking for content as you go through your day, you're going to stumble upon new sources of information for your business. Please share your ideas with us here in the comments. We're always interested in hearing what you have to say.